Good morning students. Today we are going to start the history portion first lesson sources of medieval India. Let's start this class with a silent prayer. Okay, the lesson is sources of medieval India. We are using different methods, different materials, different informations to study about Indian history. Then, Indian history divided into two important periods. First one is early medieval period and second one is later medieval period. Early medieval period which extended from 700 AD to 1200 AD. Later medieval period is extended from 1200 to 1700 AD. Okay, which are the two important periods for Indian history that is early medieval period and later medieval period. Early medieval period extended from AD 700 to AD 1200. Late medieval period extended from AD 1200 to AD 1700. Okay. Historians help us to know about this period by using various methods. Before going to the portion, we need to know about the history. Do you remember what is history? Sister standard you learned about the history. What is history? History is the study of past events. What is history is the study of past events. Everyone has a history, every nation has a history, whatever it is in the world, it has a history. Our past days are becoming our history. So, here we are going to study about Indian history and what are the sources, what are the methods we are using for the study of history of India. In this lesson, mainly we are focusing about the sources, what we are using for the study of history, Indian, Indian history, okay. Yes. So, we need some written records or supporting materials or some evidences to know about the past. These supporting materials are known as sources. Sources are the supporting materials, documents or records in the form of evidences that helps to understand the past. So, what is, so what are sources? Sources are the supporting materials, documents or records in the form of evidences that helps to understand the past. Write down these sentences. First one, what is history? Write the question first, then you write the sentence as answer. What is history? History is the study of past events. Then second one, 
what are sources sources are the supporting materials documents or records in the form of evidences that helps to understand the past okay students again this sources are divided into two sources are divided into two that is primary sources and secondary sources primary sources include inscription monuments and coins secondary sources include literary works chronicles travelogues biographies and autobiographies okay what are the division of sources that is primary sources and secondary sources primary sources inscriptions monuments and coins secondary sources literary works chronicles travelogues biographies and autobiographies write down this yes then what is inscription inscriptions are the written evidences of early period it was written on the solid surface like rocks stones temple walls etc okay what is inscription inscriptions are the written evidence where it was written it was written on the solid surface like rocks stones temple walls etc okay from this inscription we are getting more information about the land gift given by the chola kings first one brahmadeya what is brahmadeya that is land gifted to brahmins shalabhoga that is land for the maintenance of school next one devadana it is land gifted to the temples next one pallichandam land do donated to jaina institutions these are the four important land gifts given by the chola kings to various department first one brahmadeya second one shalabhoga third one devadana and fourth one is palli chandam what is brahmadeya land gifted to brahmins shalabhoga land for the maintenance of schools then devadana land gifted to temples fourth one palli chandam land donated to jaina institutions among the inscription uttrameru inscription in kanjipuram is the more important inscription which one uttrameru inscription which provide details of the way in which the village administration was 
conducted. Uttramero inscription in Kanjipuram district provides details of the way in which the village administration was conducted. So, all the inscriptions giving more information about the social, economic and political conditions and administrations of villages or the countries. Okay. Among the primary sources, the second one is monuments. All the historical buildings are known as monuments. What is monument? All the historical buildings are known as monuments. It includes temples, palaces, mosques, tombs, forts, minars and minarets. Okay. What are monuments? All the historical buildings are known as monuments. Example, Tanjavur Temple, Jama Masjid and Fatehpur Sikri. Write down this sentence. Monuments. All the historical buildings are known as monuments. It includes temples, palaces, mosques, tombs, forts, minas and minarets. Examples Tanjava Temple, Jama Masjid, and Fatehpur Sikri. Among the primary sources, the third one is coin. During the early period, kings introduced coins for the circulation. They made coins by gold and silver. They used gold and silver for making coins. The picture and the legend on the coins conveys the information about king, palaces, events, dynasties, etc. For example, Muhammad Ghori stamped the picture of goddess Lakshmi. This given the information about the palace, places, events, dynasties, and also the economic condition of the empire. Okay. So Muhammad Ghori used silver and silver coins for the circulation. For this coin, he stamped the figure of goddess. Let me. From this coin, you are getting the information about the mainly on the economic condition of the empire. 